Yeah, Craig, some of the leaders of that community I spoke to today say this situation puts on display what they call a long history of homophobia in sports and sports culture. They are hoping to expand the conversation beyond the broadcast booth and are pushing on Tom Brenneman, the Reds, and the city of Cincinnati to do something to make the sport and the city a more inclusive place. Yeah, I'm kind of diehard, everything, Bengals, Reds. Uh, born in Cincinnati. For Tim and West, hearing Tom Brenneman use a homophobic slur while calling a game for his beloved Reds was disappointing. So, I mean, I think hearing that statement was just kind of a, uh, I think a turn back to a time when a lot of people didn't feel welcome here. West says he moved back to Cincinnati in 2017 after visiting and finally feeling welcome and celebrated as a queer black man. The Wednesday broadcast showed West there's still a lot of work to be done, especially in sports, where he says he often heard homophobic slurs as a former athlete. And so I think it just means we have a lot, a long, long way to go in sports to get to a place where that is seen as, as reprehensible, as something that's shameful. I think there's a, unfortunately, a long history of homophobia in sports, and, uh, and this seems to reinforce that there's a long way to go. The Reds suspended Brenneman and issued a statement apologizing to anyone offended, saying in part they are, quote, devastated by the horrific homophobic remark and explaining the team has a zero tolerance policy for bias or discrimination. But many in the LGBTQ community in Cincinnati want to see Brenneman and the team each take meaningful steps to learn from this and promote inclusion. We need to move beyond statements and we need to move towards making concrete actions. Individuals make concrete actions, companies make concrete actions. There's impact to those words and it's not just a quick apology, but like what is going to be done after that to show meaningful and sincere interest in, in really changing the mindset. Another big emphasis of these conversations I had today is that this shouldn't be about villainizing or victimizing anyone. They say the focus should be on educating people, learning from this experience, and working together to create a more welcoming atmosphere. Reporting live at Great American Ballpark, Josh Bazan, WCPO 9 News.